All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, just out on my training ride this evening, just getting out. Today it's July 17th, and um, my legs feel pretty good. This is like day one, two, three. This is like day number four, I think. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, this is day number four after me and a buddy of mine did a 205 mile ride last weekend. So, um, I'm gonna try riding kinda hard today. Try to get this wrecking. Talk to you guys here. I'm gonna try riding kinda hard tonight. Um, cause it's, I don't think you've seen the video footage, but the roads are actually a little bit wet and it's supposed to rain maybe maybe get a thunderstorm close to the dark so i'm gonna try to get some harder hill repeats in tonight just on my warm-up loop here my warm-up lap just going easy even though i'm doing 270 watts just to get up over this hill and it's muggy today too it's really muggy it's hot it's like it's like 85 degrees got some cars coming So yeah, it's kind of muggy this afternoon. <laughs> Gotta show you this. I'm on that uh, hill loop. I do. The pavement on this loop is is bad. Pavement's really beat up on this on this road. But anyways, so yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, this is day four after a 205 mile ride. Me and Scott did around Lake Champlain last Saturday and in a ride where I actually had my DI2 battery go dead on me. You know, I think it was a combination of this bike being four years old and obviously my battery being four years old and me not keeping it charged as frequently as I should have. That combination resulted in my di2 battery dying at like mile 95 on saturday so i had to ride like the last 105 or so miles <coughs> on one gear all i had was the 3611 when the battery quit i was in the 11 cog and in the small chain ring up front so um, or actually my, the front derailleur sh shifting stopped working first. So I was in the small chain ring. And then like 20 minutes after the small ring stopped working, all of it stopped working. And for a while I was running the small ring in 11 on some flatter terrain. And then when it died, of course I had to do like 40 miles of generally uphill riding in that 3611 tell you what guys i mean my cadence at times was down to like 30 rpms just to get up some of the hills on the way back but i made it only had to push the bike like literally 30 yards on one hill i didn't think i'd make it that far on that gear but i did manage but my knees have been sore since you know because i was just grinding so much in that gear i pretty much had to ride the last hundred miles standing up just to turn the damn gear over and i had to hit every hill like it was a vo2 max sprint just to get enough momentum to get over the hills so it was a it was an interesting ride to say the least 
last Saturday. Um, so a very interesting ride. My legs are feeling much better today. Got uh, another Rafa jersey on this evening. This is the Rafa uh, Pro Team lightweight jersey. Not the aero version, just the regular Pro Team lightweight flyweight jersey. Fits beautifully. I actually did order a few more of these uh, jerseys. Like I said, I ordered a few more of these uh, Rafa jerseys because guys, they just, they fit amazing. And like I said, that aero jersey I've got, that aero jersey is just, I mean, I never thought I would say this about a jersey, but I can literally feel a difference in speed in that jersey. There's like, like I said, there is no wind flap at all with that jersey. So all right guys, I'm uh, 1.7 miles into my ride, just warming up. I'm at the descent of this hill. I'm gonna turn the camera off now. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later on here in the ride. Let you know kind of exactly how it goes. Oh, all right guys, well I am uh, <clears throat> just about two hours and 15 minutes now into the ride. What happened was uh, at about the 50, 50 minute mark, um, a little storm passed through on this hill repeat lap. I had gotten four repeats done and didn't want to ride in the rain if I didn't have to. So in the, the skies looked much brighter further north on my you know further north to me so i actually you know rode over there i rode uh, further north about five six miles see if i could get out of the rain but it was raining over there and the roads were wet too so i basically ended up just kind of riding around over there for a few hours um well actually just over an hour i'm back on the hill repeat loop now because it stopped raining but anyways there's a uh over where i was it's by the local hospital here where i live and there's a little one minute strava segment over there the first half of it is basically flat road and then the last half is maybe a maybe a six or seven percent grade and I actually I went after that KOM I didn't get it uh, the KOM is about it's a minute long I know the guy that's got it. He's a, uh, it's a college kid that, uh, well, his parents live here in town, and but he's off uh, in college currently. Uh, about six hours from here, but I've ridden with him before. Really strong rider. He does triathlons, and he's done like really well at triathlons, and he's a really good real good rider on the flat so I've actually tried to get that KOM a few times without luck I was four seconds off it tonight his times one minute I went 104 uh, you know that kind of effort really doesn't suit me very well like I said the first half of it is basically flat road you know flat road and you know 
I usually, you know, target mostly just climbs, but I was over there and legs felt pretty good, so I said, shit, you know, I'll just go after it, see if I can, see if I can steal it off him. No luck. But anyway, I think I might have a, a new PR there. I think a minute for that climb, or for that segment is probably, I think that's my PR now for that. So that's, that's a good thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna finish the ride out now. I'm like 38 miles in, like 2,700 feet of climbing. I'm gonna just finish out the ride with a couple more hill repeats and then uh, <clears throat> probably call it a night, so. All right, guys, well, thanks for tuning in to uh, another vlog here. Remember, guys, don't let anything interfere with getting the miles in.